what is up everyone welcome back to another video and today this is my first ever total drama video so today we're going to be going over my top 10 favorite total drama characters so before we get into this video like subscribe and turn on notifications because if you guys like this video i'll be doing way more total drama videos so without that let's get in it so coming on number 10 we have harold and I really like Harold. I literally am currently watching The Sucky Outdoors. And I just finished watching Dodgeball um, earlier. And I just looked at Harold like, oh my god, he's such a beast. He did so well in action and all these seasons that he went by. The only season that messed him up was World Tour. Anything but that, he was amazing. So let's go on to number nine. So coming in at number nine, I have Gwen. Now, Gwen was going to be higher on this list, but I recently watched like some World Tour and some All Stars, and she kind of brought down. I'm currently watching Island though, and Gwen is still like a character. There are these characters I like more, but Gwen is in my top 10. So coming at number eight, I have Courtney. So Courtney was going to be higher on this list, but then I stopped and thought, should Courtney really be that high on the list? So I thought, no. And, you know, because Courtney, I hated her in action whenever she was on the screen. I did want to skip her moments because she was terrible. She was really good in World Tour. She was amazing in All Star. Should have been in the finals. And in Ireland, she was the best. I'm watching The Sucky Outdoors, and it's a good episode for her. So coming at number seven, I have Noah. Now, Noah is one of my all-time favourite characters. I loved him in World Tour. He was okay in Ireland, I guess. He had some decent moments. But I absolutely loved him in World Tour. But he got eliminated from when it was getting interesting. His character was getting really interesting then. But, anyways, in World and Redonkulous Race, he did so well with the character that is next. So, coming at number six, I have Owen. Now, Owen is the face of Total Drama. Without him, Total Drama would be so much different. I have the Sucky Outdoors pause, and it's him on the screen, the bear. I freaking love Owen. He's like the funniest character. The only things I didn't like was his cameo in uh, All Stars, because he, you know, all he did was you know, another fart joke. He didn't actually get to say something. And people were thinking that's probably the last time we're going to see Owen after hearing about a new cast. So a lot of people were thinking that that was probably going to be one of the last times we've ever seen Owen, but he did come back in Redonkulous Race and receive 8th place, just like he did in World Tour. So coming in number 5, I have Heather. Now Heather is 100% an amazing villain. She was amazing in Ireland. She was okay in action amazing in world tour i love to see her win and in all stars it was probably her worst season but yeah i love to see heather beat alejandro it was a really good moment sadly she did not receive the million because of ezekiel ezekiel had to ruin the moment but ezekiel um is just you know i did enjoy him a little bit in world tour i like the fair was storyline but yeah so coming at number four, I have Alejandro. So Alejandro is one of my favorite villains, probably my second favorite behind Heather in World Tour. Even in All Stars, he was pretty good. He got far in All Stars, sixth place, which is not bad. He was amazing, one of the best strategists ever in World Tour. And I don't think anyone's gonna beat him. With the two new seasons, I think the antagonist will not be able to be better. But Alejandro is at number four. So coming at number three, I have Duncan. So Duncan is really good. Everyone puts him this high. And he is just one of my all-time favorites. He He's basically the CEO of getting far in seasons. He got fourth place in Ireland, first place in action, or second, depends where you are, and in fifth place in World Tour. Even though World Tour, yeah, was not the best moment, and in All Stars he got eighth, which isn't the greatest, but he did receive the merge. 
So coming at number two, I have DJ. Now, DJ is a beast. Should have gotten third in World Tour. Should have been the one who loses to Alejandro. And it would have been nice to see. If there was a new tour drama season, if DJ won, he would probably be my number one. But number one is a shocker. And number one has done well in a season. He's not competing that many seasons, but yeah. DJ is a beast, an overall favourite character, and I have a fact he's never ever been voted out until drama. So, um, in Ireland he lost the challenge, even though it was unfair because he didn't lose a challenge in a way. In action, he eliminated himself because of the illegal alliance, and then in World Tour he was the last member on his team, and his team lost, which was just him, so he was eliminated. So he has never ever been fully on voted out, but in World Tour he got bottom two every single time. And I found out that he was going to be eliminated when Harold got out. Because Harold quit, if you were noticing. I heard Chris say Harold, like half of Harold's name, when it was down to Harold and DJ. And DJ could have been out and it would have been so sad to see him go really early. Now before we get to number one, I'm just going to say some honourable mentions because I really wanted to put this character on, but I replaced him with Harold, and he is Scott. Scott is really, really good. I was going to put him on this list as number 10, but then I put Harold there. It was so close, but Scott would be number 11 if he was like top 15, top 20, he'd be at 11. Um, so the second one actually goes to Jeff. Jeff is a good character, and I really love him in Ireland and I loved how he actually got quite far and I didn't expect him to get far. I thought he was going to be that character that probably gets like to where Courtney got out, I believe, maybe the start of the merge. I didn't expect him to get sixth place, which is really good. He won Redonkulous Race. It's a really controversial win, but I was so happy to see him win. I'm sorry to the cadets, but I did like them more because I freaking love Jeff. So coming at number one, I have Lightning. So before you guys hate in the comments saying Lightning isn't a good character, I watched All Stars first, even though it was it was probably not a good season for him. He had a funny moment in the episode he got out. So in the digging scene, he was like digging, but he was he wanted to dig where he wanted, and he digged in the water. It was funny. Lightning is the definition of a funny jock. He's Definitely better than Tyler. And Tyler would have been an honourable mention, but he didn't, you know, he didn't make it. So I was going to do two honourable mentions. But Lightning is so funny. He is the definition of best character in Revenge of the Island. And Scott getting second place for that. That's a thing. Now, I really enjoyed Lightning. And when I watched the finale of Revenge, I didn't, it didn't say alternative ending on what I put, so I put on lightning's ending and it didn't say alternative because I didn't read those. It didn't say it, so I thought lightning won and I was going to be so annoyed if he didn't win. When I found out he won, I went crazy, but when I found out it was an alternative ending, I went mental. I was like, how did lightning not win? I do think Cameron did deserve the win a bit, but not as much as lightning and Cameron I'm not a big fan of and I'll be making a video talking about them if you like this video. So guys that's all I really have for you in this video. Um, sorry if my opinions are kind of bad but that is it for this video. Come back again to see another video. This is my first total drama video. So see you guys in my next video.